And here we go, kicking off the third quarter. I don't have our audio on yet, didn't hear the ref's whistle, but they're swimming the sprint. Ball's in, LMU wins the sprint. between Loyola Marymount and Pomona Pitzer. Loyola Marymount has the ball right off the start of possession. Playing down the right side. Number six, Colin Walters turning it over and Pomona Pitzer on the break. It's number four, Jason Cox. Bringing it down the left side. He's got numbers, three on two. Hello, cameraman. Pops for the shot, but it's right into the chest of goalkeeper number one. Ah, the video's messing up. And we'll play it up to right side. Good pass by Tessman. Finds number seven. Dylan o Matt St Stepanovich. Exclusion, six on five for the Lions. This is LMU playing it across while they have the advantage. Up top, back to the left side. Up top again, back to the left side. Trying to find an opening in this defense. It's over to the right, and a great shot right there. That's number seven, Matt Stepanovich. And a well-worked advantage right there. Stepanovich just sticking in down to the right lower corner. And that's a good goal right there. Puts the lead to 9-5 for LMU. Just a minute into the third quarter. That's I mean, you're doing a great job, really moving the goalie, moving the ball from the one to six, finding that open net. Let's go, Lord! That's the exclusion on LMU. Pomona with a chance here to put points on the bits up top now. Down to the right side. Trying to find room. This is Villarreal. Up top to Colton. Back to Villarreal. Back to Colton. Colton takes a shot and it's deflected well. That was number nine. Brendan Verlop. A good deflection and a fast break here. This is Mitrovic. And an easy goal right there for Mitrovic off the counter. A great toss in by the goalie, Kyle Tessman. And a 10-5 lead now. Kyle Pomona puts it off guard. And Mitrovic converts easily down that side. What happened there with the Pomona defense? You know, that's a good job. That's a great job on LMU anticipating, really anticipating on the goal, really working ahead and swimming, swimming really fast, getting the one-on-nobody counterattack. And it's a, even so, even when you get a counterattack, it's a lot of pressure when you're a one-on-nobody on the goalie. So you really have to place the ball. Just right. And you're right there. The effort getting forward on the counterattack. Great awareness there yes. to realize. And surprise the Pitzer defense. This is Pomona Pitzer now. It's number 16. Hudden all on the outside. He goes across to Higgins. Higgins almost loses possession. And it's going to be a foul. Forsyth draws that one. Back to Higgins. Back to Forsyth. Forsyth looking for the shot. Puts it inside. A backhand shot. And that was by Clayman, but it was not challenging to keeper Tessman, who makes an easy save. Tessman looking for the break. He goes up the right side. This is Distasio. Distasio back to the middle. And What's he's fouled. Colton back to that left side. Coltrane into the set. middle. And it's going to be an exclusion on Pomona Pitzer. And the ball's into the middle, really creating a lot of trouble for these Sage Hens. Yes. You can really tell the difference between the number two and number seven seed in this game. Oh, thanks Army for that. Really moving the ball quite well. The shot hits the, cross, hits the bar. Great movement there on yes. the exclusion. Pitcher's ball. That shot by number 13. And there's going to be an exclusion on Pomona Pitzer. Six on five for LMU. Oh, excuse me. Uh, yes. Number yes. 16 for the Lions was ejected. So LMU down a man. Pomona with a chance to cut this deficit to four. 
Passes it back up top. Forsyth up top with the ball. Looking to shoot. Doesn't see an opening. Back to Forsyth. Forsyth over. This is Higgins with the ball. He's fouled. Four seconds left on a shot clock. Back up top. It's going to be a shot. Deflected. And it's not in. Off the crossbar. Off a defensive deflection. And a bit lucky there was goalkeeper Tessman for LMU. That one almost snuck its way into the net as the shot clock hit one. That's a foul on LMU down low. A bit too rough as he tried to get position. <coughs> Hill plays it up to the left side. This is Higgins with the ball. Higgins into the middle. Finds Larson. Back outside. Clayman. And a shot and it's in. And a great goal by Pomona Pitzer. That was Clayman on the end of that one. And credit has to go to the play into the middle right there. Larson got it in the middle and played it right back out. Yes. Good movement there by Pomona Pitzer. Definitely, definitely good movement. And Only like, trailing by four. Just like that, again, cuts into that deficit in the third quarter with four minutes remaining. Plenty of time in the third, and not to mention still the fourth quarter. Pomona Pitzer, the defense really started that break down the other end. They got the quick foul in the middle and came up and had numbers. So a good play on defense leads to that, to, that transition goal. LMU switches to the left side. Back up top. This is Villarreal. Over across. A good shot there by Distasio, and it's deflected over the net. New shot clock for LMU. Well, two Tyler leader. Tyler with a good save right there in goalkeeping for the Sage Hens. Hudnall pressuring the player, and it's going to be a fast break here. We have a three on. We have a three on two counter attack going on here. Jason Cox coming up the middle. He's fouled from behind. Exclusion it's on the line. Let's see again. if they can do it quick, quick. Quick out here. It's Higgins with the ball into the middle. A five meter will result in it passing the overpass, dunking the person, going from a six on five to a five meter penalty shot. And over the top, really, is in the middle. That was Cox who got position. The same guy who started that counter attack with the steal. And the exclusion coming back to her LMU as the Sagens have a chance to cut this to three. Higgins is going to be the one taking the shot. 1v1 now with goalkeeper Tessman. And a great shot down low off the water. Nearly unstoppable right there. And Higgins beats Tessman. It's a three-point game here as the Sagens... On a comeback trail here in the third quarter. Good defense on the Pomona Pitzer side has led to transition points. And with 324 left in this quarter, Pomona doing a really good job of keeping themselves in this yes, game. Yes, definitely. Pitzer doing an excellent job. It's anyone's game right now. Lola Marymount not looking as defensively ferocious as they did in those first couple quarters. It's a foul on number three, Stefan Vint. This is Verloop with the ball. He passes it across. Back to Verloop. Verloop looking one-on-one. -on -one, passes it to the outside. A good shot right there. But it's saved. Savage. Or pardon me, that was Mitrovic taking a hard shot. New shot clock for the Lions. I thought that was a field block. Gets the ordinary. Verlu plays it back up top. Savage with the ball still. Mitrovic over. Walters up to Mitrovic. Mitrovic, a good shot. And he makes them pay for that ordinary. He took it right down into the middle. And Mitrovic really a goal scoring threat up on that offensive side. He's had a couple now. So LMU brings it back to a four-goal lead here. Pomona Pitzer having to foul on that possession and came back to bite him. Up top now, this is Cody Moore with the ball. Moore plays it over to the right side. Back to Moore. 
A lot of movement on both teams here. LMU really crashing back at set. That's a good cross. That's a shot and a great save right there by Tessman. I'd say that's great defense by LMU, really um, tunneling the shot towards the goalie, making the making one of Pitzer shoot at a bad angle on their weak side. Yeah, Hudnall had the space, but really the goalkeeper had come out and cut off the angle. Yeah. Done a really good job there, but it was a good pass to find Hudnall. Just not able to convert. LMU now with possession in the offensive end. Stepanovic to Verloop. Verloop with the ball. Kind of gives it away. A shot clock about to expire. And it's a shot low and a good save right there by Tyler Hill. Well, a good save, of course. And Tim K had to get that off. On it's the ball. Now they got a four meter, possession. two meter. So they get a whole shot new shot the clock. The goal. It's a little too much for Hill to hang on to as it went out of bounds. And a new shot clock now for LMU. And by Hill, I understand it's really Austin Strong. This is up top to Milovic. Mitrovic still has it. A good ball right there. The Into Stepanovic. Looks for a shot, fakes it. Verloop now. Into the middle and shot right to the chest of Hill. That was a great look. Walters probably regretting the shot into the chest of the goalkeeper. He had the whole goal open. And foul called. It's her Pomona timeout. Pitzer now has the ball up top in possession. Have the man advantage. Time to get this game back into th four point or to three points. A shot, a good deflection. But probably going to hang on to the ball off the rebound. To foul. The exclusion's over after the shot. No, it's not. Just Cox with it. Trying to find. Wow, there seems to be a lot of. A lot of aggression here in this water by both teams. Close game has really got the tensions high. This is Cox with the ball. Plays it across. Back up top to Hudnall. Back to Cox. Shot. It's a deflected shot. Big shot block. And Tessman there for the easy rebound corral. And LMU has a chance to break back up and make this a five-point game. Stepanovic. Gets down to the side to Walters. Walters just loses possession, though, quite easily. And Pitzer with a chance to come back. Sage hence. Quite easily. I think Hill. Jason's basically stole it from him. And the Sage hens gathering possession here a little bit. This is Cox up top. Really running the offense through him. A good shot right there. Really great play to gain possession right there. And more. Got a good shot right there in the yeah. middle. Fended off two loyal Marymount defenders. Took the turnaround shot. Tried to get to Cox. And the ball gathered at LMU as the shot clock expired. It's the end of the third quarter. We're going to take a short break. LMU leading 11 to Pomona Pitzer 7. I'm Alyssa Rangel alongside with Joseph Marler. We're going to take a short break at the beginning of the fourth quarter on WCSN Sports Network. <laughs> 